I'm making a video just because I'm bored. <laughs> I can't. But I am just very, very bored. So I thought I'd make a video just for my amusement, even if it's my amusement only. <coughs> I was like, yeah, I don't look happy today, so. Also, kind of weird. Like, I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything. I just so happen to look good, and you might as well capture the moment before you make up just to go away and you know, sleep and clog your pores and stuff. But I was out, I went to my Mimi's after I had work, <coughs> and we had some potato soup and stuff. We talked, I might end up seeing her this weekend before she goes over to wherever she was. Because she travels a lot, so I don't know where it was out, if it was in Florida or wherever she was going. But she's only here for a couple more weeks. I think she's leaving like early March to going to wherever she plans to go. Um, so I saw her, and then we went to the bar in her house because my dad's been a member there for so many years. And. I just went to have a drink and I had some soda. Even though I am 21 now, I didn't really record anything on my birthday. I just didn't. <laughs> but I am 21 now, and even though I'm at the bar, I didn't really feel like I had to drink. Like I'm pretty much straight edge in the first place, and don't really know what that means. I mean, like some people go to the extremes of like not even drinking caffeine. I drink caffeine, but I'll have like soda, another like juice, tea, milk, anything else. I just don't usually drink alcohol. And that could change. I mean, like I might drink something if I like it, but I wouldn't drink enough to really have it affect me in any way, like to get me buzzed or to get me drunk or to get me tipsy. No, but I would drink probably socially if anything, just to have like a little glass of something. Without it really doing much, but I've been pretty much straight edge for a really long time, and I don't know, it's just alcohol never really intrigued me. I was never eager to turn 21 just like a drink, it just it never really affected me, so. Yeah. I am in a frosty makeup mood. I have a frosty, um, illuminator. It's like a face illuminator from NYX. But I have to have it on my eyes instead of having it on my cheeks. And I just have some eyeliner on, some mascara, some foundation. I was gonna decide on what I wanted on my lips. But I realized <coughs> that my lips are really chat. So before I even pick a color out of my bag, I need to uncheck them. So I'm going to use my lip butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm so My lips are really dry and chapped. Don't mind the random scribbles on my hand. I was trying to get my eyeliner to like actually work. And I was just trying to like press down on it for more fluid to come out. Let's make a shiny kind of finish. I usually let it stick into my lips a little bit, and then I like wipe it off with the back of my hand, or tissue, whatever. I'm actually going to use this position on the eyeliner on my... Well, actually, no. I might use, like, a gel, too, but I'd probably use this on my, like, lower line.
this is the actual liquid that they give you. You guys have already seen it in the video if you watch one of my past videos about it. And then they also have like a gel in here somewhere. I would imagine it's in here. I swear I had all my liners that have this red packaging all in one place. And I guess not. Let me check. Big old first gear. Maybe it fell out of my bag. Is my leg? Can you get my Or something, look at this thing disappearing. I don't know why. Sometimes I touch it and make it from my girlfriend's house, and that's what it is. But I swear I lost my Revlon Color Stay powder that I've been using constantly. I lost my baby skin primer that I've used under my foundation. And now I think I might have lost like a gel eyeliner from the nifty little set that I got myself. Here's my cat Cricky. She came in. Hearing probably all this rustling around my verse, being like, oh, what's that? <sighs> I swear I'm always losing something. I'm not very happy at the moment. Knowing that I now lost another makeup item. Okay. Yeah, 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 you were paying attention now. <laughs> I mean, I didn't really get to use it much. Now I keep realizing I keep losing more stuff. Ah. I'm sad. Mm. And some people try to like go like that when they're doing it. It doesn't really work for me so well that way. I just kind of squint in my eyes. It works so well on the side.
you know, I had the time to let the monster like have the traps like do something. I mean, I know I said frosty, and I guess it is probably one of the frostiest things I own, which is the chiffon lipstick from NYC. Pretty damn frosty. And this is what I have in mind when I think of frosty lips. However, I've had this one lip gloss that's been laying in the bottom of my makeup bag that I've never used. I got Ray Colonel Shaw Black Lip Lacquer. And out of this world, I talked about it one time on how I like, love the packaging and the name. I'm going to put a little bit of it in my lip. Here, never mind. Here, oh my god. <laughs> that way, this is kind of frosty, but. I mean, it kind of overpowers the chiffon color I originally had on, but it makes it kind of frosty too. I mean. This already is kind of like a sparkly color as it is. It's just with the chiffon and maybe it's a little something back to it, like by itself. What it looks like. If you want light lips, you can do like the chiffon color. If you want. Frosty lips and a bit darker, at least like sparkly. These are most, this is more sparkly and glossy. Yep. Kind of gives it something for it to stick to. This is the chiffon lipstick. It's kind of a weird texture to describe. It's just like. It's like a. I don't know. I'm putting on a piece of skin anywhere else here that has nothing else on it. So. It's like it's creamy enough, so I think like. You know, a gloss or a lipstick or whatever you put over it. It might help it last a little longer because it's so sticky that it can make anything else stick to it. That's why I feel as though I could wear this lip lacquer over it. No. And parts of this lip. Product hanging all around my house, and guys probably weren't gonna tell me. <laughs> now I'm just defining the shape of my lip. Let me get a little nicer.
After you see me do videos like this, now I'm putting makeup on. You guys will probably know. I've already figured that it's not completely pointless. I actually do post like pictures and stuff after I'm done these kind of videos. Well, I'll have to make it my mission to figure out where the hell my other stuff went that I thought I had my bag. Like, I know three things, now I know for sure I'm missing. Are the... is my one congel eyeliner. The one in the bread packaging that you guys seen before. My Revlon Color Stay Compact that I always had with me. And my baby skin by Maybelline. So, I don't know if... I lost them here at my house, or my boyfriend, like, had my makeup at his house. So I'm going to actually ask him a little bit possibly if any of my stuff ended up over at his place. Sometimes when I touch up, maybe some things fell, like, on his couch, or, like, out of my bag. So I'd probably check there. And if not, then I know I'm messing it here in his house. Like, I hate it when I lose my stuff, especially if it's, like, that I'm constantly using, and I paid my money to buy it, and I use it all the time. Like this, these weren't things that are given to me. This was stuff I got from my money that I know that I've used and I love, and I lost it. And I hate that. So I'm gonna make sure I find whatever I figure out. I don't have my possession anymore. And yep, that's it. And this was kind of like a get ready with me in a way, even though I'm not going anywhere. So what I'd use to photograph with. So I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.